Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today I want to discuss gassing out. So this is when I'm doing some sort of exercise and I push too hard for too long and then my muscles just don't work anymore. They stop contracting. You Even if you have like the willpower to push on, they generally can't keep going. Um, so, so what's going on here? Basically, uh, we're not going to go too far into it, but my understanding of it, because I'm going to, I'm going to butcher it, um, uh, feel free to correct me. But my understanding of it is as I demand this, this large amount of energy in a short period of time, I'm not able to get much of that energy from the aerobic system, which is very recovery oriented, which, you know, is something that can produce energy for long periods of time. I have to get it from the shorter pieces that a lactic anaerobic energy system and that lactic anaerobic energy system. So the alactic anaerobic energy system, if you remember from our previous talks, is running out of energy in like 10 seconds, especially if I'm, you know, going max out. And then the, the lactic anaerobic system is giving me time for the, the aerobic system to kind of catch up and keep going and, and increase its rate of energy production. But if my activity is only a minute long, it's just not enough time. So that, especially if I'm, I'm really sprinting for that entire minute. So my lactic anaerobic system is going to try to make as much energy as it can. It's only 10 steps, so it doesn't take that long. But it will eventually build up a bunch of lactate and it will build up a bunch of hydrogen ions. And it won't be able to keep producing pyruvate, which is that that molecule that's going into the uh, the uh, mitochondria to continue on with the aerobic cycle. Um, but more importantly, it's that those hydrogen ions build up and my NADH builds up and my NAD plus is gone. And so I need NAD plus nicotine, nicotine, M adenine. I don't remember uh, one of those, something like that. NAD plus we run out of and I can't keep doing glycolysis, which is where I produce my energy. Um, I get a net of two, count them, two ATP from each uh, contraction or each uh, cycle through glycolysis. And if I can't keep going, I can't keep getting those two um, because I don't have enough NAD. I've run out of it. Yes, it's very sad. So that's what's happening when I'm gassing out. Um, interesting with gassing out is that oftentimes you don't really recover until the next day. And I don't have a good explanation for that. I, I kind of want to look into that a little bit more. I'm not quite sure if it's just the uh, calcium can't replenish itself or maybe some of some of the um, muscle contraction gets stuck or there's more damage because there's more uh, ATP getting just thrown around really quickly. Um, it's, it's interesting to think about. That is a little bit of talking about gassing out and we talked previously about why you should warm up. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely watch that and you'll be able to fight off your gassing out for days and days to come.